Hi there. My name is Mbali and I'm going to show you how to export the Media IRP5 file from your Sage One company. This video is going to show you how to export the Media IRP5 file from your Sage One system and then how to import the file into EasyFile. The employer interim reconciliation period covers figures declared from March to August. Therefore, your company must be in September before you will be able to export the media file. Log into the company that you would like to export the file from and check that you are in the correct period. On the home page view, click on tax certificates. If you cannot see tax certificates, click on the More tab and select Tax Certificates. Under Submission Details, click on the drop-down arrow next to Select the Tax Year and select the tax year that you will be exporting the information from. Click on the drop-down arrow next to Select the Submission Period and choose Mid-Year. Click on the drop-down arrow next to Select Type of Submission field and choose Live. Click on Create Submission in the top right corner. If this option is not available to you, you have IRP5 validations which must first be fixed on the system before you can do the submission. Click on the Validations button to see where the errors are and to clear them. After these validations have been cleared, repeat the process. If there are any errors and or warnings, this will be indicated by the message that comes up. Click OK and the error report is created and can be printed. All the errors must be corrected before you will be able to successfully create the IRP5 file. The warnings can be corrected at a later stage as you will be able to export and submit the file with warnings, but note that you may be held liable to pay penalties to SARS. If there are no errors, the .txt file will download and will be available in your downloads folder with the name mid underscore and the current financial year. If you are using Firefox or Internet Explorer, you will see an option to either open or save the file. Select to save the file. The file will save to your downloads folder and will be in a CSV format where you will be able to import it into EasyFile as it is. In Sage One, you will receive a message that your file was exported successfully. Click on OK and the software will generate the reconciliation reports as well as the EMP501 reconciliation reports, which you will then be able to print to PDF or printer. No tax certificates will be created as they are not required to be given to the employees for the media submissions. This takes us to importing the .txt file into EasyFile. Log into your EasyFile system and make sure that you are on the latest version. You will be prompted to update if a later version is available. Click on Import Export Payroll File on the left hand side. Select to import payroll file. Browse to your downloads folder and select the IRP5 file. Click on open and the file will be imported into your easy file.
if you get any errors that cause your import to fail, you can see what these errors are by clicking on Utilities on the left hand side and selecting Import File Log. Select the file that you imported and a list of the errors will display. Correct these errors in your Sage One company and repeat the export process. When your file passes validations and imports successfully, you may complete your declaration and submission in EasyFile. Please contact SARS if you need assistance with the declaration and submission in EasyFile or e-filing. For more information on EasyFile, click on the links in the description below.